when God closes a door, even if it's against our will, it's usually good indication it's not what we really wanted and that it's best to accept that and even say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for closing that door for me. Thank you for closing that door for me because I was deceived. I was deceived into thinking that that was the right thing, but obviously it's not. And then be open to receive. Say, okay, good. Well, then just I'll follow your lead. Just show me what's next and be available. And that's really the key. The key to, the key to all this in this King Transformation program is the quality of the king, and that is to allow yourself to be. And it's when you allow yourself to be that everything unfolds perfectly for me. And it will be the same for you. Yo, Elliot. So Sven has an update for us. Last week we spoke with Sven about moving out of his parents' house. And uh, he appreciated uh, my answer and my views on the situation. He says, I wanted to give you a quick update, breakthrough on that. Unfortunately, a few hours before I went to see the house, I got a message that it was already rented out and my visit got canceled. Well, that's how it goes with the many people wanting to move into new homes. However, my breakthrough is that I will keep on searching, but without any neediness attached. Like you mentioned, things should be revealed. Therefore, I keep my eyes open and do the best I can to find another new home at the same time, not forcing it, if that makes sense. Absolutely makes sense. And maybe God wants me to save more money and wants to, to make me think about this stuff by showing the possibility of moving out. Who knows? Yes. And so you're in non-resistance, Sven, and that's the place where magic happens. All suffering comes from resistance. And even though you and I, we asserted that you're in a good position, you're in a good place in many regards for you to be able to move out of your, your mom's house. The fact that that door closed is evidence that that wasn't supposed to unfold. <laughs> and it's tough because, you know, in a, in a world and in a time where we're taught to strive, we're taught to fight, we think we got to go make stuff happen. Uh, it could be disheartening. But when you have faith, and when you're allowing God to show you the way, reveal your path to you, you see that door closed and you say to yourself, good riddance. Because if you had tried to, now, if you resisted that, and let's say you, you, know, you, you didn't want to accept the fact that that door was closed, and so you called the landlord, and you're like, no, I'm supposed to have that appointment. And maybe you call the person that moved in there, and it was like, listen, I'll do you a favor. I really love that apartment. I really want to move in that apartment. I'll give you some money. Just, you know what I'm saying? Going out of your way in order to, to, to turn the table and to make something that was suppo is supposed to be easy, hard. Now you're going to end up in a bad place. Whenever we force something, even if we get it, because a lot of times just through sheer force of will, God will give us what we God will give us what we want, right? Um, we discover that that's not really what we wanted and we end up suffering as a result. You know, I think about it this way as well, you know, with children, right? Because like, God, God considers us his children. We're children of God. He's a children. And if he's a good father, which he is, he would, he would and you know how he, we know he's a good father? Because you can see that there are good fathers. And the way a good father would act comes from the it comes from God, comes from the essence of God. All good things we can point to as examples of how God would be. And so, for example, a good parent, let's say the kid wants, you know, I've I've probably done things like this with my kids sometimes. You know, they want something that you know is not good for them. Maybe they want to, maybe they want to eat something, right? So, for example, here's an example. My son, for a long time, he was he was having reactions to dairy. I picked it up real early when he was a baby. I was like, he would he would he was getting like snotty all the time, you know. And we're like super healthy in my house. Like he was breastfed to like age three, and like we eat we were eating all organic. We were doing a lot of good things. We were trying our best. And I recognized this kid has always got boogers. What's going on? 
and his face would turn red. And I was like, we got to cut Derry out. And so we cut out Derry. Uh, he may have been like maybe two years old. We cut out Derry and he didn't eat Derry for, for years, maybe five, six years. We we're just like, Benjamin, you can't, you, you can't eat Derry because you're going to get sick. But he forgot. He forgot what it was like to get sick. So he, you know, he grows up and he's thinking, well, I, you guys just keep telling me that I shouldn't eat dairy, but how do I know that I shouldn't eat dairy? And I'm like, you don't remember, do you, how you used to feel? You used to get really sick. You get like a fever and you just weren't doing well on the dairy. But he's like, I just don't remember. And he was like, you could see the wheels turning. And he's like, I don't know. Like, almost like he doesn't trust us. Like, maybe you guys are wrong. <laughs> and so uh, one day, he wanted ice cream and pizza. And that was like, man, that's a big old dump of dairy. But he really wanted it. And we were like, no, Benjamin, you can't have it. You know what's gonna happen. And he's like, I just wanna try it out. I just wanna, I just wanna try it out. And so you know what? I gave it to him, right? It was against God's will, against the Father's will, but he wanted it. And this is the same thing with you and, and, and people. We want something even though it's against the Father's will. So I was like, okay, and sometimes the Father will give it to us, just like I gave it to him. And you know what happened? <laughs> he was so sick for like two days. He was a mess. It was like worse than before because, you know, I just, I, I kind of just let him figure it out. And not, a, not only that it was like a little bit of dairy, it was all the dairy. It was cheese and 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 ice cream, right? You know, pizza and mil and ice cream, milk. He was messed up for like two days. He had a fever. He had like his eyes were all watery. He had mucus. His face and ears were all red, and uh, he was a mess. And then after that, he realized he trusted us. He was like, okay, I don't want to do that again. Now that was maybe about two or three years ago. And since then, he wanted, and I'm just telling you this story, this is not related, but since then he wanted to try dairy again. And as he got older, it didn't have, it didn't, he didn't react as severely. So it kind of went away. So those of you guys who have dairy tolerance, maybe that, maybe, maybe that'll be the case for you. But anyway, my point, <laughs> it's not my point. My point is that when God closes a door, even if it's against our will, it's usually good indication it's not what we really wanted and that it's best to accept that and even say thank you thank you lord for closing that door for me thank you for closing that door for me because i was deceived i was deceived into thinking that that was the right thing but obviously it's not and then be open to receive say okay good well then just i'll follow your lead just show me what's next and be available and that's really the key the key to the key to all this in this king transformation program is the quality of the king and that is to allow yourself to be and is when you allow yourself to be that everything unfolds perfectly for me and it will be the same for you guys i hope that helps dude done and i'm happy i'm happy that it worked out for you i'm happy that you can allow it to work out for you and that's really what you're doing Yo, it's your bro Elliot Hulse here. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives in fitness, business, and with women. If you're interested in joining a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G. And then me and my team, we'll get back to the details and see if you qualify. I hope to see you at our next session. Done.